So as we mentioned earlier, the death toll from last week's building collapse in South Florida now stands at nine. And with more than 150 people still unaccounted for, many families are left wondering about the status of their loved ones. Marie, Maria Elena Salinas sat down with one man who is still holding out hope that somewhere in the rubble, his family members will still be found alive. She was always like the doting aunt that watched over like my wife and her sisters. So yeah, she's just a beautiful person. She William Sanchez says his wife's aunt, Maria Bonifoy, referred to by her loved ones as Tita Coy, was like a second mother to the couple. Bonifoy, who was from the Philippines, and her Chilean husband, Claudio, lives on the 10th floor of the Champlain Tower South condominium for more than a decade. So Sanchez was stunned last week when he learned through a text message that the couple's complex had suddenly collapsed. I looked up at the building and I thought I'd see her apartment, but then I realized the whole, that whole side of the building had fallen down. I called my wife up and both of us started crying. Sanchez says Claudio, a lawyer and uncle to the former president of Chile, Michelle Bachelet, and Maria, once a budget officer for the International Monetary Fund, dedicated their lives to serving others. They were such capable people who were very informed. They really checked the buildings where they were going to live in. If they would have known that the building had issues and it was sinking since the 90s, they would have never bought an apartment. Rescue teams have spent days searching the site, but Sanchez wishes more had been done initially. We went through Hurricane Andrew down here. I know what a tragedy is, but there was a very slow response. One of Claudio Bonafoy's daughter is quoted as saying in a newspaper that if it wasn't for COVID, right now they would be traveling the world. Absolutely. They would be somewhere. Absolutely. The they were simple people. They'd send us pictures and roaming around Turkey and different parts of Latin America and Africa and Asia. So yeah, that, that is exactly what would have happened, Maria. They would have been somewhere else.